Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cash review. This one is going to be the Pocono race win from Chase Elliott back in 2022. Uh, of course he won by disqualification uh, from Hamlin and Bush. Was it Kyle Bush that was second? I think it was. So I think it was uh, Hamlin, Bush, and then Elliott. First two got uh, DQ'd and then of course Elliott ended up picking up the win just by default because of the DQ's. Oddly enough, uh, Lionel did not produce the race win. Uh, I was kind of surprised, even though it wasn't an actual, like, win. I mean, it was, because it counted, but, like, at the same time, they make race versions that, you know, didn't win, so I figured they would make the Pocono win, but, I mean, I clearly, I guess not. So I've seen a lot of people do customs of this car here. Uh, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I can never find the paint scheme, because I guess it's just hard to find right now. But I did finally find one, and I decided to make uh, the raced uh, version slash win, I guess. There's another car I'm wanting to do that's impossible to find right now. I'm, wa I'm wanting to make the uh, Coke 600 from who was supposed to be Kyle Larson, uh, but Allgaier filled in for him, and Larson didn't even get the run. So I want to make that car, but it's very hard to find. So I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to do that, but I don't know. Maybe it'll turn out like this one, and uh, we'll find it years down the road. And I do a custom that way. But on this uh, particular custom, there's two things that I've done that I don't normally do. And I don't know how I like it. One of them I do like. One of them I kind of don't because it's too big. And it has to do with the tire. You can see the left front, the 7 set there, and the left front there as well on the tire lettering for that Goodyear Eagle. This right here, I like it. But it's too big. I don't know how to get it small. I mean, like, it's just... I used a mechanical pencil to, like, write that out. And I don't know how people get it smaller. Uh, but this is another thing. This little yellow center point for the lug nut. I like that. That looks really good. This one, if it was smaller, it would look better. But I really like the little center points of the tires it being yellow. For a couple reasons. I think yellow just kind of, like, complements the car well because of the yellow on the scheme. Uh, but it's accurate, it's legitimate, and I like that a lot. So, this will probably stay a little thing I do. This one, I may work on it, and if it doesn't get better, I'll probably drop it and not touch it again. So, yeah, so there's a couple different things I've done to this one. Uh just kind of makes it a little uh, unique to some of them, because I normally don't do that. But on the hood here, we have Napa with a little bit of race wear. Uh, you can see some of the detail on the interior there as well. Uh, Elliot got the banner there, got a little bit of race wear, some race wear up on the top, got uh, two cameras, got Napa know-how, and of course you got the uh, working roof flaps there. Elliot on the rear name banner. I did uh, black out the DIN number, you can still read it, but I mean it's a custom so it doesn't really need a DIN number. A little bit of damage right here on the back, I guess just where you kind of got uh, tapped a little bit, got Camaro Auto Care, or Napa Auto Care. Valvoline number 9, got the uh, tail lights back here. Uh, the bow tie, all that fun stuff there as well. Uh, Unifirst, of course, got the right rear 7. Right rear, once again, again, that one was probably the worst one I've done. This one's a uh, right front 7. Got some race wear all the way down the side. Um, let's see, Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book, uh, Chase Elliott, Acronis, Alex Alta, Cincinnati, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, and Simons on the B-Post there. We've also got A-Shock, Hooters, and uh, Lumar down there. Got the Rocker Box, uh, the number 9 once again. That's our Cup Series. More race wear around the front. Got some more kind of going on there. A little heavier on that uh, right side. But yeah, there's the ZL1 logo. Of course, you got the Chevy bow tie. Then on this side, you got the uh, left front 7, left front uh, for the tire. More race wear. The window net's down. And you got the left rear uh, markings back there. A little bit of race wear. Got some fuel spillage going on on the back here. Then, of course, you got your interior uh, there as well. I didn't really do a whole lot other than this. Everything else was kind of default uh, when you get these cars. Uh, nothing underneath, obviously, because it's just a uh, a flat like skid plate. And I don't think I did anything to the engine. No, I did not. I didn't put any detail into there. But underneath we got uh, Chevy Auto Parts or Napa Auto Parts, Hooters, Lumar, Unifirst, A Shock, Kelly Blue Book, and Wix. And of course you got your uh, little engine detail here, not a whole lot, but there is some going on. Speaking of detail, uh, they had a new release for the Alex Bowman uh, Ruby Red car. It was the, uh, what was it called, the Primer Elite, I think that's what it is. 
Uh, but it's the more elite elite, basically. Uh, it's like 140 something. If everything goes well, I plan to pick it up uh, in a couple weeks, and then I'll just kind of do something with my other Ruby Red car I got for Bowman that I got from Martinsville. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I would love to see that in person. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, but there's like a 90% chance that I will. If I didn't see it in person, I wouldn't get it, but it's I, I get to see the Primer Elite in its, you know, glory, and then it's the scheme that I saw in person. Uh, so it'd be nice. I'm going to see if I can get one. I'll probably never get one again unless Bowman wins and they make that Primer Elite. I doubt it will, but if that happens, then that would be my only time getting another one. That's just a lot of money to drop on a diecast. But with that being said, that'll be all for this custom diecast review. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Never go on the throne